In this lecture, let me quickly show you how you can use Bootstrap in your Angular application. In order to use Bootstrap in your Angular application, first you need to install it and you can install it from npm. For that, you can use npm install command. Then we want to install Bootstrap and we also want to save it. For that, first we need to use hyphen hyphen save and then Bootstrap. And if you want to install a specific version of Bootstrap, then you can also specify that by first using this X symbol and then the version of the Bootstrap which you want to install. So let's say if you want to install the version 3 of the Bootstrap, then after this at you can specify 3. But here, let's install the latest version of Bootstrap. Let's press enter and it should start installing Bootstrap for our Angular project. So the Bootstrap has been installed. And since it is a third party library, it will get stored in this node modules folder. So if I expand this node modules folder here, we should have a folder named as bootstrap. So let's scroll down. And here we have this bootstrap folder. Let's expand this folder. Inside this folder, we have this gist folder. If I expand this, we have this CSS folder. And if I expand this CSS folder here, we have some CSS files. Now the one which we are interested in is bootstrap.min.cs. So this file. Now if we want to use this file in our Angular application, we will have to specify it in angular.json file. Okay, so the path is, it is in node modules folder. Inside the node modules folder, we have this bootstrap folder. Inside the bootstrap folder, we have dist folder. Inside this dist folder, we have CSS folder. And inside this CSS folder, we have this bootstrap.min.cs I mean bootstrap.min.css so let's go ahead and let's add it in angular.json file for that let's open angular.json file and here we need to find the style property so here it is and to this style property an array has been assigned inside this array let's specify the path of the bootstrap file the bootstrap.min.css file so it is in node modules, then inside the bootstrap folder, inside this bootstrap folder, we have dist folder, inside this dist, we have CSS folder, and inside this CSS, we have bootstrap.min.css. Okay, and make sure there is no typo mistakes here, because if there is any mistake in typing this path, then bootstrap will not work for your application okay so make sure you have provided the right path here all right so let's save this let's close this angular.json file let's go to command prompt let's stop this you know this development server by pressing ctrl c and then let's restart it again for that type ng serve command So here, ng-serve will recompile the Angular project and it will start the development server for us. Now, just to make sure that Bootstrap is installed and it is being used by your Angular application, open your Angular application, open Developer Console, go to this Sources tab and here select this styles.css. And if in this file Bootstrap is mentioned, that means Bootstrap is installed for your Angular application and it is it has been applied okay so here let's search for bootstrap okay so here you can see bootstrap is mentioned here that means bootstrap has been applied for this application now let's go ahead and let's use one bootstrap class on this div element where we are displaying this notification so let's open vs code Let's go to source folder. Let's go to app folder. Inside this, we have this notification com component. Let's open the TypeScript file of this no uh, notification component. And here, currently, we are specifying the styles using this styles property. And this style has been applied on this div element. Now, let's say instead of using styles property, we want to use a bootstrap class. For that, here, for this class, let's specify a bootstrap class. So here I'm going to use alert and then 
alert success okay so this is one bootstrap class if i save the changes then this bootstrap class should be applied on this div element if i go back to the web page you can see that that bootstrap class has been applied here if i change this class to from success to danger then this class should be applied if i save the changes if i go back to the web page so here you can see the danger class has been applied here okay and if i use warning here let's see what happens if i go back to the web page that warning class has been applied here okay so let's keep it success here instead of warning or danger save the changes and that bootstrap class has been applied here so this is how you can use bootstrap in your angular application this is all from this lecture thank you for listening and have a great day